My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, I'm Jeff Makarevich and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. I'm excited for today's meal. We are making a Thai drunken noodles. It is so easy. You'll have it on the table in a matter of minutes. And I'm pairing it with this beautiful and delicious, I have to say, uh, Paso Robles Viognier. Let's talk about a few things that are in it. But my number one tip right before we start our stir fry is to cut up all your vegetables, cut up all your meat, because once you get going, it goes so fast. You're done anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes. It's that fast. So you wanna, we have some scallions, onions, fresh ginger, or serrano pepper, but I really wanna show uh, uh, rice noodles. I like to use the wide rice noodles. They're a little harder to find, I will be honest with you. Uh, so if you could only find the skinny pad thai, it will work. I've done it with the skinny pad thai, but I like using the wide noodles. Uh, but let's start chopping up some vegetables and get onto our sauce. Now that all of our veggies and meat is all chopped up and ready for us, let's get this easy sauce going. It starts with some oyster sauce. Uh, most people can find oyster sauce in the grocery store. So all the exact ingredients once below is in the bottom, in, in the bottom length, I should say. And in the bottom of this bowl was some fresh ground ginger that I put in before the oyster sauce. And to that, I'm adding a little bit of fish sauce. And this does not make it fishy. Believe me, it brings saltiness, savoriness. You're not going to get any fishy flavor whatsoever. And this is something um, you might not know. It is called a sweet soy sauce. And this is a little harder to find, I will be honest with you. Uh, but what I did in the past and what you can do, now let me just, this is that simple. And uh, the sauce is done. Those four ingredients. And we have, oh, let me tell you about this sweet soy sauce. If you can't find that in your local store, you could always find it in your Asian markets. But if you can't find it in your local store, take your regular soy sauce and add a teaspoon of brown sugar for every tablespoon. And that'll give you that sweet flavor. And if you happen to have any molasses laying around, drizzle a little molasses in. And another star ingredients to our drunken noodles is this lovely Thai basil. But once again, if you can't find Thai basil, I had it, actually I found it, my local farmer's market was carrying it. If you can't find this local, uh, well, Thai basil, just use regular Italian basil. There is, they're very, very, very similar, should I say. So let's get started with everything then. Let's get started with our wok. Let's turn the heat on and let's get that oil heated up. I have in this wok here some grapeseed oil and we'll let that get to uh, a screaming hot temperature. Our grapeseed oil is hot. Let's get our first veggies in the pan. We are putting garlic and the serrano pepper is going right on in. So, yeah, you're going, to, I swear that garlic's gonna burn if you just keep moving it around and it will not burn. You're only gonna keep it in there just probably about 60 seconds before you add the meat, which will bring down the temperature of the oil itself. So keep things moving, okay? 
Now we're gonna add our meat right on into the pan. Let's get that in there. And we are using the chicken thighs. But you do you, right? This is all about what you like, what kind of protein you want in your uh, drunken noodles. So you just keep things moving around in this wok and you don't have to have a wok either. It's not necessary. Just get yourself a large saute pan. Uh, and this is gonna go really fast, probably about five to seven minutes with this meat because I cut them very, very, very thin. You could use shrimp uh, instead of chicken thighs. You could use chicken breast, whatever you like, whatever you wanna, whatever protein you wanna put in. Or if you wanna be vegetarian, whatever you want. Okay, so we're gonna let that chicken cook. And while that chicken is cooking, let me talk about this amazing Viognier uh, from Paso Robles, a San Simeon. Hold on. Mmm. Wow. It has peach aromas, peach taste and tropical. And it smells, it's, it has floral smells. And people think, oh, with Thai food, because of the spiciness and everything, you got to do a Riesling or you got to do a Gewürztraminer. But this Viognier has the same tropical fruits and peachy fruits and all that you have in the Riesling, but without the sweetness, more on the dry side. Mm. I just love it. It is really good. It's a good pairing. Okay, keep things moving around in the pan here. Now, I'm just going to let this go for another about five minutes until this chicken cooked most of the way through, and then we're going to add more veggies in this pan. Our chicken is cooked most of the way through here, so to that, I am going to add our sliced onions that we have done. And I'm adding a little bit of sugar snaps uh, with some cherry tomatoes. And we're gonna just cook these through for a few minutes. Let them get release all their nice juices here. And we gotta have, remember, we had everything ready because this is, as you see how fast this is going. So these onions will probably take about two minutes to finish cooking through. And while they're doing that, make sure that you have your rice noodles handy and ready. Because we are going to put those right into the pan. Um, because I have the rice noodles. I like to soak them so they're super al dente. Because we're going to just get a little sear on them in this hot oil in the pan. Give them some extra flavor instead of them just sitting in the pan. So we're going to let them sear up for a few minutes in the pan here. So we'll let those onions just cook out for just another minute. Okay, our onions and veggies have cooked. And now we want to add our nice wide rice noodles to the mix here. Okay, one overboard, we don't want you. <laughs> okay, now we're just gonna keep tossing this in with the mix here. This is where maybe some tongs would work better than the normal traditional. Pad time, I think I'm gonna grab my tongs. I always have everything ready, just in case. So these Pad Thai noodles are now going to have a little extra flavor because they're going to crisp up with all that oil and everything from uh, sautéing and everything. So this is still super hot. Okay, toss everything around in there. Okay. And now we are going to start, we're going to add our sauce. See why everything has to be done way in advance how fast this comes. This comes up so fast. And last but not least, we will be adding our Thai basil and our scallions. Just last minute, 
When you turn the heat off, looks like we got some great flavor to the noodles now. Now we're gonna add our amazing sauce to the mix. Get that in there. Oh yeah. Now it's starting to look like drunken noodles, right? <laughs> Woo! Yes. Oh, it smells so amazing. It really does. Okay. We are pretty much done. We are pretty much done. We are now throwing in our scallions and our Thai basil. And we're going to mix it through and we're turning off the heat right now. Because once the basil and scallions go in, we are just going to let the, the natural heat from the noodles and everything just wilt all the Thai basil and everything. Now look at that. I know you probably noticed that I didn't add any salt or any pepper or anything like that. There's enough sodium in all that sauce that we put in there uh, and enough heat from that serrano pepper. Once again, I de-seeded it. Uh, you can keep the seeds in if you want it super spicy or if you want it a little on the milder side, you can just put in a, uh, a jalapeno and de-seed the jalapeno. So our pad thai is done. I am ready to plate up. Before I dig into my drunken noodles, not pad thai, <laughs> I would like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes and all the fun we have here at Wine and Dine with Jeff. And don't forget to like and share my recipes also. But I can't wait any longer. I'm ready to dig into these drunken noodles. Okay, here we go. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of noodles, a little bit of everything here. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That makes me a happy camper. There's sweetness and saltiness and savory and a little bit of heat from that serrano pepper. It's amazing. Thanks for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff, and we'll see you next week.